Hi everybody, this is Cyrus for bestsibufeeders.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your wireless network on the, the Kindle Fire HD. This app, this process is actually very easy. But if you don't have your network set up right, or if you're new to networking, this may take you a little bit, of, a little bit to, to learn how to do it. But it's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to settings, and then choose the wireless option here. Now you have a bunch of settings here. As you can see, my favorite wireless network is already in green. If that color is green, it's already you can clearly see the check mark. So it shows that my Kindle Fire has connected to it already, and this is what I use. The airplane mode is if you decide to, let's say, turn your wireless off for some reason, or when you get on the plane and they ask you to turn it off, you just take just do that and your wireless goes off. Now, a couple of things that you want to remember here is your network may not show up here or for some reason it, you may not be able to connect to it up and you may have to add it manually. That's very easy to do. You just have to say add network, enter your SSID and enter your password. SSID is the name that you've given your network and your password is the password that you use for security of your network. You you do want to be familiar with the idea of MAC filtering. Some wireless networks have that on, so you want to make sure that the IP address of your Kindle Fire is added to your router. So I have already added it, so there's no need to, to do it here. Now, what if you are, here's the thing, what if you're connecting to a network and you want to do it only once? You don't want Kindle Fire to connect to it again in the future. What you do is, you go tap and hold and then say forget network. And that's, what, that's how it does it. The advanced settings is where you provide information on static IP and also proxy settings if you're going through a proxy. So most standard keys, VP, the WPA and, and WEP are supported. So you shouldn't have any problem there. I'm using WPA2 with this device, but mine is backward compatible with WPA. So because of the router that I have, I can just enter my information. There's no setting that I have to keep in mind. I just have to enter my information, my SSID, my password, and that's it. So that's about it. If you want to, if, if you need to add your wireless network and to get connected to the internet, your Kindle Fire may not be able to do it. If you have a password, you need to enter that before being able to connect to the internet. So it's not that your Kindle Fire is broken if you got it. It's that you need to take that extra step to make it work r right out of the box. And that's how you do it. I hope you liked it. For more tips, please go to bestsebookreads.com. Thank you for watching.